Hey everybody, this is Stefan at Lush and Salty Aquariums. How are you? Almost the new year and I want to do an update on the pea puffer biotope. Um, I've been able to spot the puffer fish, which frankly in the months this tank has been set up, they've been so reclusive I hardly ever see them. But there's one there. I have this fraternity of guppies that I raised. I forgive my reflection. These are all tank bred for my own tanks. It's just a bunch of dudes in there. I don't want babies. So they call that a fraternity. There's six all together. They're all brothers. I don't know how much they miss feminine companionship or if they've adjusted. But let's see if we can't find a pea puffer. I saw three and I went and got the camera and they were right up to me. Oh, I hate that I have this reflection. I'm such a loser. Let me pull out and see if I don't find one, but it's beautiful just to look at this thing, huh? With the immersed and in, um, submerged plants. The root structures from these above plants, this one here in particular, create an incredible environment for really all living things. They suck up the nutrients uh, from fish waste. They filter the water naturally and they provide hiding places for the fish. There's just nothing bad that they do if you like the look, which I do. These are a common crypto corn plant and it's starting to spread. You see a ram's horn snail. Now the smaller ram's horns, there's a big one and he got eaten, but these little small shells, that's what the puffers love to eat the most. So I always throw in new snails. And if we go around here, scooching, scooching, you'll see there's some of their uh, leftover dinners. That's a pygmy hasbrosa. You know I love these catfish. I'm always talking about them. But you see dead snail shells. I cleaned some, but there's more, and that means the puffers are eating. I also give them black worms and live brine shrimp. They won't eat. There's one, a big, fat female, it looks like. For all I know, they're breeding in here. It's very possible because this is a dream tank for them. They might not like the guppies so much, but everything else was made for them. That's a piece of massive spider wood, that center piece. And it has all these extensions. It's basically um, an upside down root system from like a philodendron, I think. I forget some kind of tree-like shrub and it gets all dried out and you uh, boil it. I flipped it and created this kind of submerged structure and the plants like these Anubias are attaching to the roots with their rhizomes. They're mixing their roots. You see the thicker ones there with the thin filaments from the above and it's all just creating basically a lush wonderland, hence the name of the website. Now let's stand up, we'll look down at it. That's what it looks like from above. It's like you're flying over a rainforest. If you have any questions or are interested in what I did and how I did it, just ask. I've got two kind of cheap LEDs for lighting. And one hang on the back filter. I do use CO2, although I bet it's not necessary. I just like to use it. That's what this is. That feeds the plants for those that are not aware. Always keep your hands in the tank.